How are we doing today, guys? So today for my 100th video posting, I'm going to be doing something kind of special. I'm going to be opening up this extremely rare Entertainment Earth exclusive comic two-pack of the Knights of the Old Republic, Jariel and Roland Dyer, um, the Arcanian Protector and the Mandalorian from the Old Republic. This one here does come with a comic comic book as a lot of the older two packs did uh, on the back here you can see a couple other uh figure sets that they've done um this mandalorian set is kind of a dream set right now i don't know if i'll ever actually get a hold of that one um just being as late to the game that i am and how expensive these are running now uh this one here uh, i did open the darth nile and delilah blue i did opening them a while ago uh, on the channel but you know what? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get these two figures off this card for this 100th video opening. And real quick, I do just kind of want to thank all those that have been um, sticking with me through all this. Ah, oh, that cut's done. It's it's made. It's final. It's in. It's open. But I want to thank everyone who's been sticking with me for 100 videos. Uh, it's something that I just kind of started doing as a little funsies thing. I, I had a, a couple figure sets that I felt were worth more than just ripping off the bubble. So I, I wanted to do something special for them. Um, kind of like I'm doing here now with, with this figure set. I did pick this one up from a local collector that he knew exactly what I was doing with it. Let's go ahead and get that comic out of the way there real quick. I'm going to look forward to reading that one. But he knew exactly what my intent was, so he was he was a little shocked that I was actually going to open it. But at the same time, I want to do something special for, like I said, my 100th video. Look at those two figures. Those are absolutely awesome looking. Oh, let's go ahead and be careful getting this tape off of here kind of a, a little electro staff I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a lightsaber I, I read her bio a little bit and it said that she was armed with an electro staff so I'm pretty sure that's not just supposed to be another lightsaber style weapon for the old republic figures she does have a pesky rubber band or maybe that's just around her waist to keep that soft good skirt in but let's go ahead and get her popped out of there get that rubber band off so she does come with uh, a nice little ball jointed neck her hair does hinder the ball joint movement just a little bit on that she does have a, a really nice soft good skirt that goes all the way around it does have she does only have a t-crotch but I don't imagine I'm going to be doing much fighting stances with this figure here. She does have really good, like, just jointed knee articulation. No ankle articulation due to the sculpting of the boots, I'm sure. Has the standard elbow articulation. Wrist articulation is just a swivel at the glove right there. And then has standard shoulder articulation. Feels like the no real waist articulation, probably due to the, the skirt. It's probably there, but just kind of... Um, held up by the skirt a little bit. I love the detailing on her. One thing I did read in her bio, it did point out her tattoos. And her tattoos are really cool looking. And I do love the, the separate pouch that also dangles around her too. That is a, a just a separate piece altogether, so that could come off if needed to. Go ahead and get her stuff back in her hands. So there is the Jariel. Let's go ahead and get this Roland Dyer out of the packaging here. Oh, super careful. So there is the Mandalorian Roland Dyer. Looks like he has some, I don't know if those are tribal markings or scarring. Oh, if I could keep them on camera. Come on, Dustin. Probably scarring right there instead of like markings or something like that. Go ahead and get those pesky rubber bands there out of his hands. Awesome. He does have a sheath there for his knife. Ha 
having trouble keeping him on camera. Don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm just excited, a little nervous that I just did what I did. A little combination of both. Go ahead and get his blaster there in his holster. The detailing on this figure is kind of fun. Um, I like the, the non, you know, classical looking Mandalorian armor. This guy is supposed to be substantially older than, you know, Boba Fett and Jango Fett and everything like that. Um, let's go through his articulation real quick. So he does have a ball jointed neck. He does have shoulder articulation that's not hindered too bad by his armor. The spikes there do, do add a little bit of a hindrance there. But they also sculpted in a way that he does, he can still lift. Nice uh, elbow joint there. Wrists just have a swivel, no rocker or anything like that. He does have a mid-chest swivel, which is kind of nice. No no waist swivel other than just that mid-chest. Mid T-crotch, nice little knee articulation, and once again, no ankle articulation. And I'm assuming that's just because of the sculpting of the boots. A little bit of a power pose going on there, which isn't too bad. He's just going to go up on the shelf with the rest of my Mandalorians. Let's go ahead and get that crude-looking jetpack out of there. Oh, wow. So the, the jetpack does look like it goes around one shoulder and has a, an attachment, I'm assuming, to the back of the helmet. Nope. It, oh. Maybe to the front of the helmet? Because the, the helmet there has a, a little, little hole right there. Let's go ahead and get this guy equipped with some so that slips on there nice little peg there in the back get his helmet on there and I'm assuming that that pegs in Maybe. Yep, just like that. That is just a really awesome looking figure. I'm really excited to get this guy up on my Mandalorian shelf with the rest of the Mandalorians that I have. Um, just really awesome opportunity to be able to open up this set. So I, I want to give a shout out. Uh, to another channel I actually picked it up from. It's D&D Productions. Um, Steve on that channel there actually sold me this set. So don't hate him. It was all me. But there he is. There is the Roland Dyer Mandalorian set. And then the Jariel. And once again, 100 videos in, guys. And absolutely thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching.